Yeah, good morning, Mark. This is like a nature's gym hybrid, and this is what I love about my job. I was simply going on a walk along the Trinity last week when I stumbled upon something. I thought that I had been transported into the Jetsons cartoon. Take a look at the story, and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's a bird. It's a plane. Wait. What the heck is that? I mean, we get weird looks. We get lots of uh, what is that, whatnot, but they're real easy to ride. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a one wheel, and they're taking over DFW by storm. Now, these aren't those bird scooters you see laying all over the city. These bad boys are privately owned, and they're kind of like electric skateboards, only way cooler. They can go on the pavement or off-road, and they've got this futuristic feel. The men and women who ride them say they are the best way to get around the Big D, and the view is pretty cool too. In fact, Dallas may just have the most active and passionate one-wheel community in the whole country. One Wheel DFW has 1,200 members on its Facebook page, and last weekend, they broke their own record when 202 one-wheelers went out for a socially distanced mega ride through town. It's uh, doctors, lawyers, the average worker. To, I think there's a six-year-old out here riding today. Next time you see one cruise by, you'll be in the know that two wheels aren't necessarily better than one. In DFW, I'm Hannah Davis. Okay, so I want to know from you guys, have you guys seen these one wheels around town? And would you be willing to try one? Kara was asking me that earlier. Kara, I answered, I said, yes, I would. How about you? I said, yes, we just said that we needed to be geared up properly. And by that, we mean all the protection yes. in North Texas that we can get. Am I right? <laughs> uh, you are definitely right. You got to protect the moneymaker. <laughs> now she's thinking like me. Okay.